Hi, good afternoon. I'm Mark Ganser, coming to you from Art in Bloom Gallery on Princess Street in Wilmington, where I am proud to be represented. Um, behind me are some of the uh, paintings that I did for their recent spring show. The four in frames are brand new off the easel. So um, I thought I would start experimenting with one standard size and then the floating frame seems to be very popular and I hadn't framed a lot of things because I use very deep gallery uh, canvases, but I started experimenting with the floater frames in 11 by 14 size. And so I have these four here and I've got um, at least eight or 10 more that I painted during the lockdown. And um, I'm hoping to find them all homes as well. So we're back and I have now with me some of the 11 by 14s that I painted during the wonderful lockdown that we were all involved in. It took me a while to start painting during it because, you know, I just kind of sat there for a while and thought, is this ever going to end? But then I thought, well, maybe we should do a little bit of painting. So a lot of people ask me where I get my subject matter. This is actually a piece that is in my neighbor's backyard. They have a, a tall tree with an unbelievably long rope that has a swing hanging from it. And uh, this was during the spring. And I just thought it was just a charming little, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, I thought it was a great subject. So I painted it. And then a lot of people ask me where I get my ideas from. I have a hard time finding them because I just do. But this was, um, this is actually a painting that was a, of an old print that I had seen in a shop. And I took a picture of it and I, I, I took it home and I, and I made a painting from it. I've always been a, a big painter of boats, sailboats. I paint a lot of sailboats, but I'm not crazy about getting out on the water. So that's kind of odd. But um, I really liked this one. I thought it, it turned out great, but it's in that, that pandemic series that I had going on. The pandemic also allowed me to become a little bit more abstract. Um, and I really, really like this one. It's, I call it the hanging gardens or the suspended gardens, you know, sort of like in Babylon. But, but um, I love the thick paint and the bright colors. It, High roll red, and I really get along very well. It's such a fabulous red. But um, this is another one of the pandemic painting. And finally, we have one more, which is probably the most ab abstract for me of, of them all, is uh, this one right here. I love this. Um, I believe that's cadmium red and, and the yellows. I don't mix a lot of the color, which is I guess it's kind of crazy and probably not really great paint, but a lot of color I use right out of the tube. Sometimes I mix it with, you know, white or, or toned it a little bit, but, and I use a, use a knife to paint this one and just, I was in a uh, decorative interior painting for 25 years and toward the middle and the end part of that career, I started to experiment with uh, Venetian plasters. So I really enjoy things that are very thick. And I, and, and I use, uh, I, I've done that with the paint too. There's a particular medium that Golden makes that I mix up with the paint that makes it really a, a, a wonderful impasto. And it, you can, it's in, some of them are glossy and some of them are matte, but uh, these have some of that going on, but I did actually break out a brush and use the brush on some of those. I hadn't painted with a brush in a long time. <laughs> I just paint with knives or, or fingers or, whatever happens to be handy and it's worked out so far. Here's another painting from my pandemic series, 11 by 14 in a floater frame uh, that Amy had picked out and decided to hang here several weeks ago. It's a composition that I, uh, I just dreamed up. Um, it's, uh, I can't remember even what I called it, but um, I love composition where you can sort of walk into the painting and escape into it. Escape has always been a big 
uh, subject of mind. A lot of things have walkways or pathways or uh, they just go off into the distance. And I, I think it's an escapist thing that kind of hang that hung over from my childhood and, and that I still have. I'm, I'm just so happy to be represented here. Uh, very happy to be here. I invite everybody to come down here. It's just a wonderful little gallery and the way they've renovated this building is just, it's just awesome. I have a great love for uh, old architecture and, and buildings as well. I've done several paintings of older buildings in Wilmington. I'll probably get back to that soon, but um, this is just a dear little place. So please come down and pay us a visit.